I really feel like I've built the best possible FC 24 team for players that you can actually get. Because two of the players I wish could be in this team, R9 Ronaldo, the 98 rated card, is extinct in this video game. And 99 Cristiano Ronaldo, AKA CR7, AKA The Beast, is also extinct in this game. I waited with 15 million coins trying to snipe him, but he hasn't even seen the market when I'm making this video. So I have 11 players that I truly believe are the best in their position, and you will dominate the weekend league with them. Some players that I should talk about that are nominees that could have win in here is a player like Czech who recently released. Timo Warner is really fun. J David Alaba is an awesome center back. The brand new Eto is chef's kisses. And uh, Sterling is a card that we actually need to speak about because realistically, he can make this starting 11. Let me kind of explain. Two of the cards in this team cost 18 million coins by themselves. I want to start off with one of them. We have to start the video off with this guy, the one and only Lionel Messi. He is in this team and he deserves to be in this team. Messi is a card that is just out of this world insane in the comments down below right now let me know what's the best card you've used in this game i don't care if he's a 91 rated card what is the best card you feel like you've used in this game it doesn't have to be by a good player in real life i just mean a fifa merchant what card is your favorite fifa merchant this year i need to know with that being said Lionel messi has been amazing we'll jump to the midfield when i decided to throw in the brand new one and only yaya Torre. The ex-Barcelona man, the ex-Man City man, the pitcher he has right here in game is from his Man City days. That's why he's a Premier League player. The 97 overall is brand new in the game, and he is a lot of fun to play with. I do think there's other midfielders that can do what he does, and maybe there is better in it for him in this position, but I just really like Yaya Torre. So a lot of these players, there is another guy that maybe could do or could not do, but I just I have like a, a, a connection or side. I just like them for some reason. I like Yaya Torre from his Barca days. And I also, he was just a really, really cool card, man. So I like him a lot. We jump to the center back position. I'm going straight back and forth. And that's when we throw in the one and only Chuamane at center back. Now, I know people will be like, yo, there's so many center backs out there like Rudiger and this and this and this. And why are you going with a midfielder there? He gives you a lot of height. He gives you speed. He gives you crazy defense. He gives you high, high work rate. He gives you physical. He gives you everything you actually need in a center back. And I truly believe he is a better center back than a better midfielder. So I just feel really confident when I have him back there, especially for the fact that I'm playing really high depth. With the 92 speed and the height, I feel like if someone tries to over the top it, he's just there for me man he wins a lot of balls in the air so all around he's just that guy for me so i had to make sure he was in the team now that's three of the the, the starters right that's three of them the next guy that goes in is another 90 99 overall and i told you two cards cost 18 million coins i wasn't lying there's nine million coins right here invested in neymar there's nine million coins invested in in in, in messi that is 18 million coins pretty much in two cards. Speaking of that, I got a brand new channel for y'all because I'm only going to give a little bit of gameplay. I got a brand new channel where I'm going to review with multiple players at a time. And this channel is going to be a review channel only. So if you guys want to subscribe and check that out, link will be down below. The first video I'm going to drop, there's going to be a video with Neymar, Messi, and Yaya Torre play like eight games a weekend league or 10 games or maybe my whole weekend league and just show you what they could do in the whole weekend league. So if you guys are interested in that, the link will be down below on the first video of Neymar, Messi, and uh, and, and, and Yaya Torre. And then every day I want to drop like three, four cards at a time. So I want a, a little review channel. With that being said, let's keep it in the midfield. And that's when I found my boy, Luka Modric. Um, there's two ways you can go about this and it depends on the formation you're in. I've been playing a 4-1-3-2 with this formation, with this team. I just feel like it suits really well. Like that's why I tell you, you could run it differently. Like for example, Rodri is a really good option to Yaya Torre simply because in the 4-1-3-2, it's a solo defensive mid. He's on an island by himself. So maybe having an actual defensive mid is better. But I know people are in the 4-3-2-1. A lot of people are running that. So I feel like Yaya Torre is a better 4-3-2-1 player. 4-3-2-1 is one of those things where you don't really need defensive mids. It's more of box to boxes and then one really aggressive attacker. So that's why I think that Yaya Torre and Luka Modric would work really, really well for you. The next guy that's going into this team is a player that goes by the name of uh, Rafael Leao. Now, this is where I told you guys it could change because I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me, but this new Sterling card that came out during the footy promo, 
is one of the craziest cards I've used in any FIFA ever. He just moves like an actual machine. Um, he reminds me of the old school FIFA 17 and 18s where like you could just get a player and run in a straight line and then weave a little bit and score. He's that fast. He's that like agile on the ball that he's really, really fun to play with. Now, the reason I like Rafael Leao is because he has height. So when you cross it to the back post, he can win a lot of headers. So it really is optional up to you. But I personally think having the back post cross is really overpowered. But Sterling gives that little bit of oof, you know, so it, 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 it's really down to your preference when, 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 it, when, you, when you're really thinking about it. Let's go to the goalkeeper position. I've played a lot of the games with Czech, but I haven't really found a guy like this Martinez, bro. This Martinez makes unbelievable saves. I think it's the fact that he's so tall. I, I don't know what it is, but I just run him with a basic on him. And this Martinez card goes crazy, man. He is really, really, really insane. Um, plus, he gives a nice little link into Messi, which helps it out. Now, Messi, I could, I could run Czech or Martinez for the full cam, uh, but I don't know. I, I, I just I found a lot of success with Martinez when I had him in net. So let me know who you guys think is the best goalkeeper in the game. But I feel like a lot of people are running Martinez, and I feel like he's a really, really good option. The next card I'm going to go to is going to bring up a lot of question marks because it's not his biggest card in the game. I can't afford his biggest card in the game. And a lot of people say, yo, that card's way too outdated. I'm not fortunate enough on this account to have the one and only Rudiger. I have him on my other account, and I got to be real with y'all. He's probably the best center back in the game. I don't have him. So the next best thing is VVD. Now, I don't have the big VVD card, but I still have his team of the year card. And VVD's always been broken this entire game, and he remains broken still. So even though he's a little bit outdated, he's still a 96 overrated card. He's still a huge card. He's still a monster. The only thing that's outdated about him is he doesn't have four or three play styles like other people do. Like Chuamane has four different play styles. VVD, I mean, uh, Modric has four. Yaya Torre has four. Rafael Leao has four. Everybody has four now, and he doesn't have the four, right? So that, that's kind of annoying. But at the same time, VVD is extremely broken, so you don't really have to worry about that, if that makes sense. Right back position, I know everyone's running Walker and has a lot of success with Walker. I've been having a crazy amount of success with 98 rated out of it. How? I don't know why. Plus, he helps with chemistry. But Carvajal has been lovely for me, bro. He's been absolutely a defensive masterclass. Um, so I've just kept it with him. I could have upgraded to Walker. And again, like I said, Walker's freaking awesome. But I just had a ton of success with Carvajal. And there's a new left back that recently came out that I didn't really think I was going to like too much. I didn't think I would really care for that much. His name is Robertson. I've loved this card. He's everywhere on the field. He's just up and down everywhere you need him. He's there for you, cooking, dominating the match. Very, very, very impressed with this card. Like, extremely impressed with this card. Probably the most impressed out of the whole team. He's the card that really impresses me the most, except for one player. And he's the final player of this team. And he's the best finisher in this game, I think. He's remarkable. And I know y'all are probably saying, Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't got him. I don't got the 99 Cristiano Ronaldo. 97 Cristiano Ronaldo was the best finisher that I've ever used. But I recently started using a little Argentinian guy that goes by the name of Alvarez. And I'm gonna tell y'all something, lads. This card at the striker position is stupid good. Dumb good. Out of this world, amazing. I love every single thing about Julian Alvarez at the striker position. He is crazy, crazy, crazy good. And if you go to that new channel and you watch me review Neymar, Messi, and Yaya Torre, you're going to see that I was even playing Alvarez on the wing for a little bit, but he's so good that I had to make sure I got him in the right position because the man is just an absolute animal. I only played him outside for a while because I was testing Neymar at striker. But that's why I told you guys with this Sterling and the team, I want to show you the formation I run right now. I run a formation that's very different from a lot of people. It's the 4-1-3-2. And this formation has you two strikers, two wingers, and two midfielders. But the midfielders are front and back. So Yaya Torre is more of a defensive mid for me. That's why I told you Rodri might be better. Luka Modric scores a stupid amount of goals in this formation, like crazy amount. You got Messi for the finesse shots on the right. You got Alvarez on the finesse shots uh, on, the, on the left. And then Sterling is kind of a better winger than Yaya, than, than Leao. But Leao allows you to get finesse shots. 
I mean back post headers. The thing is, if you're in the 4132 that a lot of people are in, like I play it as well, that's when even yeah, yeah, that, that's when Alvaro, uh, uh, that's when uh, uh, Rafael Leal might even become a lot better because you have La Rafael Leal at the left forward and then you bring Neymar back here and now Neymar is like your middle cam just cooking through the midfield. Um, and then you have Alvarez, Messi, and and, uh, and um, Leal up top. So again, lads, it, for me, I, this is obviously a personal thing. I personally think this is the craziest team in the game. Like per position, this team is absolutely insane. Do I wish I could have a better VVD? Of course I do. But this team is out of this world. The only thing it's missing is a R9 who's extinct or a 99 Ronaldo who's extinct. I wish I could get them. But let's jump in some gameplay so you can see this team on fire. One thing I do want everybody to know that like, it's all personal preference. Like that's facts. You know what I mean? Everyone likes the players they like. And I, I, I could like this player and that player and that player and this player. And y'all might hate that player, right? I like God of a Howl a lot. And a lot of people might be like, man, that's the worst card I've used in the game. And that's just the way FIFA or FCs have always gone for everyone. One card will be good for you. I guess one of those things where it's like one person's trash is another person's treasure. You know what I mean? It might be one of those sayings. Oh, wait, Messi. Oh, Messi, Martinez, what a save. I went for the finesse. What an over-the-top ball from Alvarez. I mean, from Leal. Oh, I put Leal in the starting 11 before I went into the game. And Leal just hit an over-the-top from downtown to Messi, who one time chips it over Martinez for one of those type of goals that only, like, the best possible can do, bro. Like, it's crazy, man. They're so broken, these cards. Look at Leal go to work. Use it, abuse it, down the wing to Alvarez. That's going in, penalty, let's go. I actually get bailed out there because lads, if I'm being honest with you, I put the ball down the middle. I put the ball, uh, I should have shot it. I, I, and I was thinking to myself, shooting. I wanted Travella it quicker and I didn't. Um, and I just got really lucky that my opponent's goalkeeper took me out for a pen because realistically that probably should have been a save by Martinez. And it should have been me going, oh man, I really messed that up. We should have scored there. I think what I like the most about this team is how like versatile it is, if that makes sense. Like if I wanna play through the air, I could do that. If I wanna play dribble and finesse shots, I could do that. If I wanna play tiki taka, I could do that. This team gives you everything you need because Messi and Neymar give you all the, great goal, all the dribble you need in the world. Like I'm pretty confident that if the ball is in the air, Leao will most likely win the header. What a ball, what a goal, unbelievable. If the ball is in the air, and I was actually slamming that to the back post to hit Rafael Leao, if I'm being honest, but somehow it just goes as a dagger straight to Messi, and Messi does some type of scissor kick goal, and uh, all of a sudden we're back up by two. Beautiful goal for my boy Lionel Messi. What's crazy, it's almost been 45 minutes, and y'all really haven't seen Alvarez go crazy. And I thought he would be the player that y'all would instantly be like, wow, that card looks insane. And he really hasn't done nothing. But every time I play with this team, I swear he surprises me so much, bro. This counter is a good counter. It's a great counter. I should have moved keeper. I didn't. My opponents countered twice, scored twice. Messi v. Coleman. Messi v. Coleman. I put too much on the chip. I suck. I want to get another goal before halftime. I swing it to Messi. He swings it to Modric. I give it to Alvarez. Alvarez near post. I got to do better. Messi. Leao. I think Alvarez is on side. Cooked. In there. Golasso. And we take it. 4-2. Alvarez is on side. And I told you. Let's give him time, bro. Give him a time. He's not leaving a football match without scoring a goal. Unless your opponent rage quits at 0-0 or 1-0. I'm telling you right now, bro. You are not leaving a match without Alvarez finding himself a goal. It might be ugly, it might be beautiful. I don't know what goal he's gonna score for you, but he's going to score a goal before the game ends. What a steal. Messi's in. Messi shoots, Messi scores, 5-2, opponent gone. Opponent gone, get him out of here, man. GG's, Messi, Travella, back of the net, just like that, we get him out of here, bro. And that's what this team's all about, man. Quick, beautiful football, a quick uh, attacking, just any way you can score, through the air, through the floor, this this team scores every possible goal you could think of, man. It's awesome. That messy goal, that third one, I think it was, that was a crazy goal, man. The cross, look at this. Robertson's going to hit him. 
and it's just a crazy awesome finish from Messi, bro. Go on, son. And then Alvarez tucks in the goal that we needed to lay out. Good find. Ball roll around the keeper into the back of the net. We score. We win. We move. For me, y'all, I think this is the best y'all can get out there, man. Honestly, obviously, you can move a couple players here or there. Like, there's other studs out there like King Kenny and, and R9 and Met Ronaldo and how much I love Sterling. And you can obviously play with your team however you want. For me, right now at the moment this is the best i have for positions man obviously vvd needs to be upgraded but i love this team so much i have so much fun playing with it it has everything you need from dribbling to cross into headers to power shots to finesse shots to the traits are perfectly put together um i love the team so much man i want to i want you guys to let me know in the comments down below who's the best card you guys have used this fifa and also what's the best back line like your two center backs who are your favorite two center backs man i hope you guys enjoyed this video man if you did smash that big old thumbs up subscribe turn your bell on i appreciate you guys watching and i'm still trying to get ronaldo man when i get ronaldo i'm gonna drop a video for y'all hey if y'all want to check out the new channel where we're doing like player reviews the link will be in the description down below and also we have that other career mode channel two different channels i got three fifa channels now or fc channels thank y'all for watching i love y'all i'll catch you in the next one peace we're out of here